Which scented candle is the best? These are some of the best scented candles because these are five of my most burned scented candles. If you are new here, my name is Sir Candleman. I am your candle and fragrance curator here to help you find your perfect fragrance. Let's get into this list. You can see this right here. This is used up and toe up. This is from Lafco. This is one of the candles that made me want to start my account on the internet as Sir Candleman. This is called Feu de Bois. Ignore this search. We'll talk about that in a separate video because that should not be happening. But things went awry. This is called Feu de Bois. It's frankincense leather, firewood, but it's almost like an old church or the founder described like an old fireplace that has resin. So it feels slightly sweet, but it's still leathery and deep. It's like the perfect cozy fragrance for a really cold day. If you want that cabin feeling, I love, love, love this candle. This is hand blown glass as well. It lasts forever. It burns very evenly. Soy wax, really, really great perfumery. Makes for a great gift. You can reuse this vessel for anything. It's like solid for pencils, for in your bathroom, like cotton swabs, anything. I've told this up. I have it in all the sizes. I have the tiny one, I have the really big one. I cannot live without one of these. I use it to layer with a lot of other fragrances too. Another candle that I've told up from the flow up is from Lola James Harper. This is Rue Saint Honoré. Error 213. It is from Paris. The founder, Rami, used to make fragrances for the store called Colette, or he made the fragrance for the famous Colette store in Paris. And when that store closed, this is the fragrance of that store. It's the perfect, perfect, perfect fig. To me, this is the best fig. There's a lot of figs out there that I love. I love Diptyque's fig, uh, Figuier. I love, there was an anthropology fig that was really nice. I can't find it. There's some other great figs, but this one is the best one. And the wax in here is really, a really, really cool blend. And the founder taught me about wax masters and how to really perfect the interplay of the fragrance with the wax. And it's like really, really cool. And the brand is really dope. Lola James Harper is actually like a fragrance and photography and music project. So it's infused with creativity. And I'm obsessed, 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 obsessed. If you love fig, if you don't have one of these, I don't know what you're doing. I actually don't know what you're saying to me. You can actually just go. We're at number three. If you want something still deep, but um, almost like aromatic, green, but slightly sweet, you have to get Home Court CC. I've gifted this candle to a lot of people. It's slightly tunneling. Another issue that I did wrong where I placed the candle in my room, but we can fix it. But this is like, I think it has like carrot seed, it has a little like spicy cardamom, but it's also kind of like delicately sweet and like grounding. And this vessel is gorgeous. It's actually a brand by Courtney Cox, which is really, really cool. The black inside is very chic. And what I love about Home Court is that their fragrances are also fragrances that they have for room sprays, like deodorants. They also have their products in like surface cleaners for your kitchen, hand wash, and a bunch of stuff. So very chic link, very nice. I love it. This is just, everything's just like so nice. Oh, 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 oh. The next one is Trudon's Terre à Terre. Why is my voice breaking? Terre à Terre. Earth of Earth. And it's a collab with my Tretang, a tea master. And I've spoken about this candle before, but let me open it and show you. It is like gorgeous. Please. I keep all of these in their boxes and I've used this one up, you know, but I still just love the box, so I keep it. I mean, first of all, I mean, amazing. If you've seen what a normal Trudon smells like, looks like, let me let me show you. Ooh. A normal Trudon candle has this crest like this, which is like the classic, classic, classic. And then this was for the collab. You can still see the crest there, but it's got the artwork in it to capture kind of the, the essence of the fragrance and what they were trying to go for with this. But this is a kind of like earth, fungi, or fungi, as some people say. And I looked this up. You can say fungi, fungi, or fungi. So before you come for me, don't. This is kind of fungi, earth, moss, damp, like a damp sweetness. It has a gold inside. I love, love, love this candle. I sometimes pair this with this other beetroot candle that I like. I'm like in a deep earth phase right now, but I really, really love it. And it makes great home decor as well. So it's something that I think is like pretty dope. What do you think? Yay, nay, maybe. Would you do a fungi mushroom? Earth. Oh, please. Delicious. This is delicioso. And the last candle is a candle that I cannot get enough of. It's like, are you kidding me right now? It's a candle that is cozy, 
warm. It feels like a hug. Everyone who burns it says it's like the best thing that they've ever smelled. And it has cardamom, it has amber, it has what feels like cocoa, like real vanilla, but it's not vanilla -ray. It's more like woody, airy, warm hug. Embrace. It is Heart of the Matter by Lafco. It's a collab that I did with Lafco, and we describe it here as a scent that evokes gratitude, joy, and hope. A comforting familiar, familiar vanilla with exotic resins and spices. Surround yourself with warm intentions and inspire yourself to discover life's adventures. This is the gorgeous, gorgeous packaging. If you wanted to know why it looks like this, it's a whole thing around when I was visiting Southeast Asia on a solo trip to go find myself. Kind of eat, pray, love, but like a bit of a mess. And all the sunsets that I saw that were very inspiring. So this here, it's actually the sunsets this way and like rolling hills and kind of spice markets and things that I was in. And we translated this concept into this candle and this is what the vessel looks like. Also hand blown glass. Oh, please, I'm gonna light this right now. <laughs> light this right now, girl. Where are my lashes? Because wow, a revelation, a revelation. You can get this on lafco.com, on Amazon. I put all the links in the bottom and uh, at Blue Mercury and some speciality retailers. So those are my favorite candles right now. These are most burned, like we, we burn those. This is like my fifth one of these, we keep going. So if any of, oh, don't burn yourself now. Let me know what you think of any of those candles. If you tried them, if you wanna buy them, links down below. Please make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you want more perfume and candle content, more coming up. I'm really enjoying kind of this longer form, chill, relax as well as the short form video that I post. So I love y'all, be amazing, stay lit. Remember, I'm Sir Candleman, here to help you find your perfect fragrance. Oh, that was good, bye.